Hey guys and welcome back to another Vital Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video it's just going to be a very quick one where we're going to be going over how to create a moving texture like we see here. So you can see this material is moving this direction. So as you can see here in this example I'm going to be using lava. It's just a very quick simple example to do. So without further ado let's get right into it. So what we want to do first is we want to import the textures we want to use. I imagine you've probably already done that but you can simply just drag and drop them in. And if you want to use these lava textures which I'm using what you can do is use the link in the description down below to go to the website which I've got them and these are completely copyright free lava textures. So once we've done that what we want to do is we want to right click create a material and I'm just going to name this one lava matte as this is my lava material I'm going to open that up straight away. In here I'm just going to make it bigger but not fully maximize it and I'm going to use three different textures and those ones are going to be the color or the base color whatever it's called for you, the emission as I'm using lava I want it to glow, you don't need to use emission if you don't want and also the normal. You can use whichever ones you like for example colour, specular, roughness, normal, any of those or you can just use the colour for the base colour, anything like that but these are the three I'm using, again you can do this completely how you like. I'm just going to drag and drop them in there to get those three texture samples and double click to open this up perfectly like so. Now what I want to do is find out which one's which, so this top one is the colour so that will go into base colour up there. This middle one is the emission, which is perfect because that will go into the emissive color there. This bottom one is the normal, so that will go into the normal there. Now what we're going to do is just align those like so. However, one thing is the emission. I don't want to go straight into the emissive color. I want to come out of this and get a multiply. And I'm also going to hold down 1 and left click to get a constant like this, connecting that into B. Now I'm just going to set this value to be 5, connecting that to the emissive color again. And that means we'll have an emissive value of 5. And again, the emission is just how much it kind of glows. So again, I'm just doing that because I'm using the lava, you don't need to do that. What I might also do is right click the arrow on this constant and convert it to a parameter and I'm going to name this one lava glow or lava emission and that just means if we create a material instance we can change this very easily via that instead of having to open up the material. And so now that is essentially the basic part of the material done, however this isn't going to move. So that is also very simple, what well, you can see here in the top left we have this preview of what the lava looks like, so you can see it's glowing there. However again we want it to move, so what we're going to do is right click and get a panner node. This is the part that you do need to do, this first part you can do however you like, but this part is necessary, the panner is what moves the texture. So we're going to connect those into the UVs of all the texture samples we want it to affect, so I want it to just move all of these like so. The coordinate, I'm going to get the texture coordinates like so. Time, I'll leave as it is. And speed, I'm going to hold down 2 and left click to get a 2 constant vector, connecting that to the speed, and the R I'm going to set to be 0.1. G I'll leave as 0, and that just means that essentially R is how fast it's moving on the X, G is how fast it's moving on the Y. So I don't want it to move on the Y, but I do want it to move at the speed of 0.1 on the X. Because you can see if you select the panner, we have speed X and speed Y. So you can just do it in there if you'd like. However, I just want to do it here so we can quickly change between them seeing it like that. And again, like I said, this is going to be a very quick tutorial because that's it done. What we've done is we've created our material and we've made it so that we can have it A, glow and B, move. And you can see the previews just loaded. We now have a moving texture here. And again, we can increase or decrease this. So if I were to set it to 1, we wait for this to load, it should move a lot, lot faster. And again, if I then set that to 1 and then 1 on the G as well, it should move kind of diagonally or if I just set that one to 0 and then G to 1, it should move up and down instead. Again, I'll show you that once this one's loaded. So as you can see, that's moving a lot faster. Now again, if I set it to G as to be 1, R to be 0, it should now move up and down instead of left and right, because we're now moving on the Y instead of the X. And there you go, that works perfectly like so. But again, I want it to be 0.1 on the R, 0 on the G. Apply that, and now we have our material done working correctly, so we have the texture moving. And what we can simply do is just drag and drop this material onto whatever we want it to be on. And now you can see very quickly we've got our texture moving on our static mesh which we want, which again for me is just this very simple lava texture. We can get in and this will work perfectly. You can see it's actually glowing onto the player as well. So because of the emissive color, it kind of glows and it is shining on the player. Again, to show the emissive color working, if I were to just put this up to a crazy value, so instead of five, I'll set it to 100, you'll see that this will start to really, really glow. 
probably won't even be able to see the texture anymore because it'll be glowing that much. There you go, it looks more like the sun now. However, that is how that works. So the emissive will make it glow more, the panner will make it move more. And there you go, very, very bright like that. But again, this is what we've done today. So I think that'll be it for this video, is we've done everything we want to do. We set up a very simple lava texture and material in which the texture itself will just move along the X or Y however we want at whatever speed we choose and we also just added in the emissive on there as well. So again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.